This is my scariest experience of being at home by myself. It happened back when I was 12 years old. It was a long time ago now, but I still remember it really well. During this time, I lived with my parents, older sister, and younger brother. It was very rare that I would be at home by myself, but somehow it happened. It was a Friday evening, and my dad was out of town until the next morning for work. He didn't travel for work a whole lot, but every now and then he did. I remember that my sister was at her best friend's house and was going to be sleeping over there. As for my mom and brother, they were at a birthday party my brother was invited to. I was not invited, and my mom went with my brother because she was basically helping the birthday kid's mom with the party. So that left me home alone, all by myself, on a Friday night. My big plans were to just relax and play video games. I was excited about it though, because I rarely got the entire place to myself. Our house was pretty average for the most part. There were two levels, with all the bedrooms being upstairs. Downstairs was the living room, dining room, and kitchen. So after my mom left that afternoon shortly after I got back from school, she gave me instructions on how to make a frozen pizza. I had never cooked before, but I loved frozen pizza, and at about 7 p.m. I cooked it. Everything went pretty well, and then I went into the living room and sat in an office chair right in front of the TV and started playing on my PlayStation. This went on for several hours. At about 9 o'clock at night, I heard the sound of somebody stepping onto the front step where our door was. The living room was at the front of the house, so it really wasn't that far away. When I heard the person walk onto the front step, I assumed that it was my mom and brother returning from the birthday party. I kept playing, expecting to hear the door open at any point. But after several minutes went by, nothing happened. Nobody entered the house. I got curious and I got up and walked over to the front door to look outside. When I did, I didn't see anybody there. There was no one at the front door, and my mom's car was not in the driveway either. As I was looking there though, something caught my eye to the left. I looked and saw what appeared to be a man walking through the front yard. He was just barely in my sight for about a second before disappearing past what I could see. He had gone towards the side of the house, or maybe the neighbor's yard. I was a little nervous after this, but I assumed that the man had left. I didn't really know who he was or what he was doing. I kept watching around the front yard for a minute or so and saw nothing more. So after that, I returned to my video games. I couldn't help but be creeped out by what I had seen, so I was trying to take my mind off of it. And after about 10 minutes, it was starting to work. That is, until suddenly I heard the sound of somebody trying to open the back door to the house. Our back door was connected to the kitchen and went out to the patio. This sound was much louder and I instantly stood up. I ran over to the phone and called my mom's number. During this time, I didn't hear any more noises. I told my mom that somebody tried coming in the back door and she told me to call the police. She told me that she would be home as soon as she could but the birthday party was still going on. So after that, I quickly ran upstairs and then went into my bedroom. Once I was there, I called the police and told them that I thought somebody was trying to break in. After giving them my address, I went and hid behind my bed. I covered myself with tons of blankets. I was really too scared to want to know what was going on. As I waited for the police to arrive, I was hoping that the man had just left and not tried breaking in. I wasn't hearing anything, but then again, I was covered in blankets. It felt like forever, but maybe 10 minutes later, the police got there. I remember that I got a call on the phone and was told that they were there. I never would have gone down and left my bedroom on my own. When that happened, I got up, but heard people talking, so I stayed in my bedroom. I remember a while later, there was a knock at my bedroom door. I was terrified until I heard a voice on the other side say police. Then I answered the door and there was an officer there. He told me that they had caught a man who had just broken in. I was told that the police got there in the nick of time, and they really did. The man had somehow got the back door to the house open. He had literally just entered when the police arrived. The man was arrested, and luckily didn't get far into the house. I was honestly shocked when I heard it, but luckily everything turned out fine. He wasn't able to steal anything 
or do any damage. The back door needed a little bit of fixing, but it wasn't a huge deal. After that though, I didn't want to stay home by myself for a while. One time, I got back from work a little bit later at night. I lived alone in an apartment on the second floor during this time. After getting back home, I changed and then went into the living room. I was sitting on the couch, eating, when I heard this loud noise coming from next door. It sounded like the next door neighbor was banging on the wall. It was extremely loud and went on for almost a minute. I was really confused when I heard this. I wasn't making any loud noises or anything. The TV was on, but the volume was really not that high at all. But yet the neighbor was pounding on the wall as if I was being really noisy and he wanted me to be quiet. I didn't really know why else he would be banging on the wall like that. And even if he was bothered by the TV, I didn't even think it was loud enough for my neighbor to be able to hear it. I wasn't hearing any other loud noises from anywhere else. Just to be sure though, I muted the television. For a short time, everything was quiet. But then, the loud banging on the wall started up again. I really had no idea why my neighbor would be doing this. I wasn't aware of making them angry or anything. And to be honest, I didn't even know who my next door neighbor was on that side. I never really saw them. I had been living in my apartment for like six months, but I had never met or seen hardly any of my neighbors. The banging stopped after a short time. I didn't know what to make of this, but for the next couple of minutes, everything was quiet, so I just kind of moved on from that. Except, about five minutes later, there was suddenly a loud knocking coming from my front door. It seemed as though whoever had been banging on my wall had now moved to my front door. After it continued for about 30 straight seconds, I decided to get up. I walked over to the door, and when I approached, the banging stopped. I looked through my peephole to the other side, but nobody was there. Whoever had been knocking had now left, and I had no idea who it was. I was just assuming that it was my next door neighbor, but I didn't even know what they looked like. I considered going over there and asking them what the deal was, but I decided not to. Based on how hard they were pounding on the walls and door, I just had a bad feeling about it. So instead, I just moved on again and tried to ignore it. I was hoping that there would be no more banging on my walls or door that night. And luckily, there wasn't. So the next day, when I was leaving for work, I walked out of my apartment and went down the hallway. There was an elevator and a set of stairs right next to it. Now, I was always in the habit of just taking the stairs and I very rarely used the elevator. So after walking down the hallway, I had passed by my next door neighbor's door. A moment later, I heard the door open. This was the same neighbor who had seemingly been banging on the walls and my door last night. I remembered the previous night, but I just kept walking. When I made it to the stairs and started to go down, I heard whoever it was walking behind me. The stairs turned, and I went around the corner and glanced up. I saw a man walking down the stairs, but I did not directly look at him. But apparently, that was the guy who lived next to me. After walking down the stairs, I went through the lobby and then left out the front door. The guy that was walking behind me did exactly the same thing. He followed me out the door and was walking behind me as I was on the sidewalk. I parked in the large parking lot that was at the complex. After getting to my vehicle, I got inside. I then saw the guy kind of standing there and looking in my direction. He was about 50 feet away, and I didn't know what his deal was. He just stood there as I drove off and went to work. I had never seen that guy before, but I guess that was my next door neighbor. So I worked that day, and when I arrived home afterwards, it was a little bit later at night once again. By the time I arrived back, I think that it was about 10 o'clock. So I went inside of my apartment building and then walked up the stairs. When I made it to the top, I walked down the hallway towards my door. Right after I passed by my next door neighbor's door, I heard it opening again. I just had a bad feeling, and I walked faster to get to my door. I heard his footsteps enter the hallway. When I arrived at my front door, I quickly unlocked it and opened it up. As I was closing the door behind me, I heard the footsteps still approaching. I closed and locked my door, and probably five seconds later, my neighbor actually tried opening it. Then, 
there was once again more really loud banging coming from the other side of it. I really couldn't believe this guy. I looked out and saw him relentlessly pounding at my front door. I moved away from it then and was about to call the police. I went and got my phone, but then he stopped. At that point, I put the phone down. I didn't want to get in some war with my next door neighbor. Clearly, he had some problems with me and he had tried entering my apartment, but I also didn't know if maybe it was just a misunderstanding or something. I decided that if I heard any more banging on the door or walls or anything, I was going to go over and give him a piece of my mind, and hopefully he wasn't dangerous. But after that, nothing else happened. So I would say about a week later, one day I saw another neighbor in the hallway. I went over and introduced myself to her. I had seen her a couple of times before and knew that she lived here. I told her about what happened and asked her if she knew the guy who lived next to me. She told me that nobody lived there and the apartment had been vacant for a while. This was crazy to hear. I then went to the offices of the apartment complex and asked one of the agents. They confirmed that the unit next to mine was vacant and had been for several weeks. My mind was blown after hearing that. I never saw that guy again or heard anything else. I don't live there anymore but I still get the creeps thinking back to that. This happened just last year. I live alone in a house with two floors and three bedrooms total. One of the bedrooms I use as a guest room and the other as my home office. So one night I got home from work. It was maybe like 7 p.m. or so I would say. After arriving back, I went inside and then started to cook some food. The kitchen was at the back center of my house. I listened to the radio as I was cooking and it took me maybe 30 minutes. When I was done, I decided to go upstairs and change and then go back down to eat. So I walked upstairs and was going to my bedroom, but I noticed that the door to the guest bedroom was closed. I always left the doors open and I didn't recall closing it. This was really strange to me so I went over and opened up the door and took a step inside. The lights were off, but before I could reach the light switch, I saw something. There was a woman standing in the back side of the room and looking at me. It was really dark in there, so I didn't get a good look at her at all. But after about a second, she started to charge at me. I stepped back and closed the door and then ran back down the hallway. When I made it to the stairs, I heard the woman opening the bedroom door. I didn't have any time to think and guess why there was a random woman in my house and why she was now chasing after me. After going down the stairs, I really wasn't thinking at all. I don't know why, but I ran to the door next to it, which led to the basement. Then I went in there and closed the door behind me. I was standing at the top of the stairs and it was completely dark down there and I guess I thought that it would be a good hiding place. When I was there, I heard the woman go down the stairs but then she seemed to turn and go in another direction instead of heading towards the basement. I started to feel just slightly better. I took out my phone to call the police, and when I did, it lit up the surrounding area of where I was. I was standing at the top of the stairs still, and I saw that there appeared to be a man standing in the basement at the bottom of the stairs, and he was walking towards me. When I saw this, I opened the door back up and left the basement. Then I just ran for the front door. I honestly don't know where the woman was, but thankfully I did not see her. I left the house and ran for my car. Once there, I got inside and called the police. I then drove away from my house and did not come back until the cops were there. When the police got there, they went inside my house and were able to locate both the woman and the man. The crime couple was arrested. I'm not sure how, but they were able to get inside of my house. There was no sign of a break-in so I never found out where they entered. Maybe I left a door unlocked, but I really don't know. Apparently, they both entered together though, and for some reason, the woman hid upstairs and the man hid downstairs. I'm not sure if I surprised them by getting home or what. I think they were planning on robbing me. That was by far the scariest moment of my life though. I still live in the house, but since then, I've taken just about every security measure there is and hopefully nothing like that ever happens again.
I'm a 29 year old female and I live with my husband in a house. Our neighborhood is pretty standard for the most part and this happened about a year and a half ago. I worked pretty normal hours then but my husband's hours are more random. On this night, I recall that he was working late. It was probably sometime after 8 p.m. and I remember that I was in the living room. I was FaceTiming my sister and young nephew. The three of us were talking until her son had to go to bed and then I hung up. At that point, I recall looking out the front window and noticing a car starting to pull into our driveway. A couple of things struck me as odd about this though. For one, it was not my husband's vehicle and he wasn't supposed to be home yet. And for two, the vehicle's lights were off as it entered the driveway. Now our driveway is somewhat long and goes up to the garage. The garage is out of sight of the house though because it connects to it. So the car ended up slowing down and then just barely going out of my sight and parking. I kept watching and was now listening as well, but I didn't hear anybody getting out or anything. I called my husband and let him know what was going on. I was hoping that maybe this was one of his friends or something, but he had no clue as to who that would be and said that he would leave work as soon as possible. After hanging up with him, I wasn't really sure what to do. I then walked over to the dining room, which had a window that looked out to the backyard. It was very dark back there as well, but when I looked, I saw what appeared to be a man walking out from behind the garage and into the backyard. When I saw this, I left the room and dialed 911. I told the operator my address and told them the situation of what was going on. I was told that police were on the way. After that, I was walking through the living room when I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. It sounded like the dining room window was being smashed. I ran the rest of the way to the bedroom and then closed the door behind me and locked it. I moved into the bedroom closet and shut the door there as well. Now that I was there, I really couldn't hear too much. Several minutes went by, and I thought that I was in the clear, but then I heard footsteps in the hallway. When that happened, I held my breath. The man got closer and closer and didn't go into any other rooms. It seemed as though he was heading straight for the bedroom that I was in. He then tried opening the door, which was locked. When it didn't open, there was a very loud bang at the door. Perhaps the man was trying to break the door down by hitting it with something. Then, after another loud bang, I heard police sirens in the distance. This caused the man to move away from the door and go back down the hallway. Within a minute, police were out front of the house. I didn't hear much more until I was sure that the cops were there. Then I left the bedroom and went out into the hallway. The police had found the man leaving through the backyard, and luckily he was caught. The man had in fact broken the glass to the dining room, but nothing in the house was really messed up other than the window. I'm not sure what the guy's plan was, but I'm really grateful that the police got there when they did. This took place back when I was a kid. I believe that I was 10 years old or so. This was in the late 90s, and during this time, I would ride the bus home from school. It would drop me off at the corner, not far from my house. Then I would walk a short distance on the sidewalk and go inside. We lived in a pretty standard neighborhood in the suburbs, and when I would arrive back home from school, both of my parents would still be gone at work. I had been trusted to be home by myself since I was nine years old and I didn't mind it. But in the afternoons, I would usually only be by myself for about two or three hours. I would just hang around the house and do homework or watch TV usually. So one time I got home from school like always. I was by myself and it was maybe about 15 minutes or so after I got back home. I was in the living room when there was a knock at the front door. I looked over and from where I was, I could tell that somebody was there, but I couldn't see who they were. Back then, I was a shy kid, and I didn't want the person at the door to see me, so I ducked down. The person at the door then knocked again. I was curious, so I carefully moved to a window and looked out to see who it was. There was a man there, but I did not recognize him, and he was just standing at the front step. After knocking twice, 
The guy then tried opening the door, which was locked. Then he finally walked away. I thought that this was really weird. I watched him cut through the front yard and then go out of sight, heading towards the sidewalk. It was very confusing why this guy would be here. I was thinking that he had to be at the wrong house or something. I really couldn't think of any other possible explanation. But after the guy left, I moved on and forgot about it. It was certainly strange and a bit creepy, but it didn't seem that bad to me. My parents ended up getting home later, and everything was fine. But the very next day, I saw the man again. I remember that I rode the bus home, and I got dropped off. Shortly after I stepped off the bus, I remember noticing the guy. He was a long ways away, but walking down the sidewalk. I found it strange to see him here again, because until the previous day, I had never seen him before. I was not aware of him living in the area or anything like that. So I tried to hurry up, and I walked quickly to my house. Then I unlocked the door and went inside. Once I was in, I felt safe, and I didn't really think that the man would do anything. But maybe five minutes later, there was a knock at the door again. I looked and saw that the same guy was back. Obviously, I was not going to answer the door. I tried to stay hidden from the view of the man. This time, he only knocked once, and again he tried opening the door. But after that, I saw him start to walk away. It was pretty much the same thing as the day before, and I saw him go out of my sight. This time, though, I was more creeped out because of the fact that he was here two days in a row. Plus, he saw me walk to the house, so there was no mistaking it. But for the next hour or so, nothing else strange happened. I was just hanging out in the living room. Then I decided to go out and water some of the flowers in the backyard. I went to the back of the house where the kitchen was and then left at the back door. I took two steps into the backyard and saw the guy coming out from behind a bush. He was walking towards me. I ran back inside as fast as I could and the man started running after me. I closed the door and locked it just in the nick of time. He nearly stopped me. He tried getting in but couldn't. I ran out of the room and went to the phone in the living room. I dialed 911 and asked for police to come to my address. The man ran away at that point though. I was glad he was gone. The police got there a while later and searched the entire property as well as the neighborhood. However, the man was long gone by then. There was a bit of an investigation done. I don't really remember much else other than a neighbor about a block away remembered seeing a work van parked on the side of the road. They didn't know whose it was, and it was thought that maybe that was the guy's vehicle. After that, though, he never came back. I'm really glad that I was alright. I will never forget that story.